Ladies and gentlemen, once again welcome back to our channel and the topic for today's COBOL programming tutorial is blank when zero clause. And before I start with today's presentation, I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel. Apart from that, I would like to say a big thank you to each one of you who have already subscribed to our channel. Okay, so today's COBOL tutorial is divided into three different sections. First one is introduction to blank when zero clause. Then we'll talk about blank when zero syntax details and blank when zero syntax rules. And the last section is blank when zero example section. In this section, I'll going to walk you through with a COBOL program so that you can clearly understand how to use blank when zero clause in your COBOL program. So let's begin with introduction and do watch this video till the end. Let's say you are working on a reporting project where the business requirement says that you need to suppress zeros on a report for specific fields. So there are different ways of accomplishing this particular requirement. Either you can use COBOL inspect statement where you replace all zeros with uh, spaces or probably you can design a custom logic where you replace all zeros with spaces. But the best solution for this particular requirement is to use COBOL blank when zero clause. So COBOL blank when zero clause actually replace zero with spaces or it actually suppress uh, zeros. And you do not need any custom logic. You only need to define blank when zero when you're declaring variable. And you can very well use this uh, particular clause with numeric field and numeric editable fields which is generally used to reformat data before it is being displayed on your reports or probably on screens. For example, you define an editable picture clause that is ZZZ.99 with blank when zero clause and you assign a value that is 0.01. So when you just uh, run your program and you see the report, uh, the value would be displayed as .01. So it has actually suppressed zeros, like it has replaced the zero with spaces. So ladies and gentlemen, before moving to the next section, I have a question for you. How many of you have used blank when zero in your COBOL program? And if you don't mind, just write down in the comment section. Okay, so now let's move on to next section. That is blank when zero syntax detail. Okay, so the syntax for blank when zero clause is very simple and you can easily remember that. The only thing that you need to remember is that whenever you're defining any variable in your working storage section that you would be using on reports and the value of that variable need to be suppressed on report in case if it is having zero. Then for only for those variables you need to define blank when zero statement. Finally, before moving to the example section, let's look at a couple of important points related to blank when zero clause. So the first important point is that blank when zero clause specify that an item contains nothing but spaces when its value is zero. Next important point is that you can use blank when zero clause only for elementary numeric and numeric editable items. Specifically, these variables should not have S and asterisk in their picture clause. Also, these items must be described either implicitly or explicitly as usage is display because you're using these variables for reporting purpose. So it cannot be a comp or comp3 variables. And the last point is that blank when zero clause should not be specified for level 66 or level 88 items because they are specifically used for different purpose. Level 66 is for your rename clause and level 88 is used for conditions. So now let's move on to the example section so that you can have a better understanding and you can understand how exactly you can use blank when zero clause in your Kabul programs. So this is the sample program that I've created so that you can understand how you can use blank when zero in your COBOL program. So if you see the working storage section, there are three variables uh, that I've defined with blank when zero and one variable is defined as normal. So the first variable is WS hyphen EMP hyphen sal. So that is employee salary and it is for calculation purpose. It is not for reporting. So it is defined as normal. 
and the second variable is WS hyphen total hyphen rev that is total revenue and it is for reporting purpose so I have defined this with a edited picture clause along with blank when zero so in case if value is zero then it would be suppressed on the report it would be replaced with uh, spaces similarly I have defined third variable that is WS hyphen INT hyphen rate that is interest rate and the fourth variable is WS hyphen LN hyphen percentage right so all these fields are defined with blank when zero so whenever the value is zero for these variables so it will be suppressed now let's move on to procedure division where move statement is used to assign some random values to these variables and then you have display statement in order to print the value of uh, all these variables in the output now if you look at the output you clearly notice that blank when zero clause has actually replaced zero with spaces right so if you look at the second variable that is total revenue so if you see zero has been replaced uh, with spaces so zero is not displayed and similarly if you see uh, loan percentage I've moved zero to that so it has clearly uh, replaced the entire value with uh, spaces so ladies and gentlemen this marks an end to our today's COBOL programming tutorial and I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel and in case if you have any question related to blank when zero clause or any other uh, COBOL related uh, question then please do mention that in the comment section I'll going to respond back after this presentation and do visit our YouTube channel because we have recently uploaded a lot of videos related to COBOL programming and I'm sure with the help of these COBOL tutorials you can build your knowledge and understand the basic concept of COBOL programming. So once again thank you so much for listening so patiently and stay safe. Bye bye and take care.